We're not used to seeing photographs of dead bodies on 60 Minutes, but the story on 60 Minutes this week A conversation with 60 Minutes executive producer Jeff Fager. Jeff, we're not used to seeing photographs of dead bodies on 60 Minutes, but the story on 60 Minutes this week shows devastating pictures of lynchings. Lynchings became so acceptable, onlookers would send picture postcards to friends and family. This pictures of lynchings. Lynchings became so acceptable, onlookers would send picture postcards to friends and family. This card, depicting the horrific image of a burned corpse, casually notes, this is the barbecue we had last night. For viewers who will be disturbed by these photos, um, what, what would you say to them? Why, why include them? Why include such graphic photos? You know, I think that some people will be offended by. Um, what, what would you say to them? Why, why include them? Why include such graphic photos? You know, I think that some people will be offended by seeing the photos, but it's so important to show them. Uh, for us, it really is. That's reality. That's what happened. Our story is about a part of history, really almost 80 years of American history, that isn't in the history books. We don't see these pictures. We don't talk about it, you know. And in the first line of the story, Oprah says it's a reckoning. There is a reckoning taking place in America. It is. From this um, lynching where you actually see a man holding up his friend so that he can get a better view. There was a lot of community acceptance of these crimes and you can see that clearly in this photo. talked about these photos, but there are also descendants of the, the white spectators mm -hmm. who will be watching this story. Yes. That's a difficult part of this story. Yeah, I think it is. I think that um, that is part of the reckoning as well. We tend to think of it as the South, but it happened across the country. The lynchings? Yes. Yes. They, they, uh, they found more than 4,000, and, and no doubt there's far more than that. When you see these, these faces of children and women and smiling men, I mean, I mean, how do you make sense of that? Well, I think if you look through history, one thing that becomes obvious is that any group of people can be whipped into a frenzy or a fury. Um, can